Hello! This video provides a brief overview of completing a Competency Self-Assessment Worksheet or Seesaw. For further information, please refer to the Seesaw Guide available online at APEGA's website. The Seesaw is a pre-application resource for engineering professional membership and licensee designation applicants and is available free of cost to any engineering applicant. Please note, if you are planning on submitting a professional membership application in the geoscience profession, Seesaw does not apply to you. All engineering applicants will benefit from completing the Seesaw as it will help determine their eligibility for meeting APEGA's experience requirement. While this worksheet is optional to complete, it is recommended for all engineering applicants to go through the exercise so that they can find out their likelihood of successfully meeting the work experience requirements. Applicants can only access the Seesaw after starting an application in APEGA's Member Self Service Center or MSSC. This screen summarizes the steps to accessing the Seesaw. Engineering applicants must start an application in the MSSC, receive APEGA ID number, log into APEGA's MSSC, only then applicants can start working on the Seesaw. To start an APEGA application, applicants can apply online at APEGA's website by clicking on the Apply button shown in the red circle. After clicking on the Apply button, this is the web page where applicants can choose their application type. To reiterate, please note that Seesaw is only applicable to professional membership and licensee application types for the engineering profession. To get an APEGA ID number, Applicant must provide basic information in order for the online application system to generate an APEGA ID number. After completing this information, applicants receive an email from APEGA showing their APEGA ID number and their password. Applicants can then log into the MSSC by clicking the link included in the email or click on the login button on the top portion of APEGA's main webpage as indicated on the screen. Using the login information, applicants will log on to APEGA's Member Soul Service Center or MSSC. Applicants can access the Seesaw at Step 6 of the online application in the MSSC. Please note that the Seesaw cannot be downloaded to your computer. It can only be accessed through MSSC. Before moving into the details of this form, please take notice of the Save button on the top portion of the form. After receiving your APEGA ID number, you have up to 90 days to work on the Seesaw, but you must save each page by clicking on the Save button so that you can come back to the form and not lose any previous contents. You will also notice that there are question mark buttons throughout the form as shown on the screen. If you click on each of these question marks, you will find further information corresponding to each portion of the form. You must complete this form for each of the 22 key competencies required for professional and licensee designation applications. To demonstrate your level of competency, you must provide an example from your previous employment where you have demonstrated professional level engineering experience. In this example, applicant must demonstrate their level of competency in the category of Technical Competency 1.1, which is about technical regulation, codes, and standards. You will notice that the required level of competency here is 3. This section of the form shows the indicators for each of the key competencies. Indicators are illustrations of appropriate evidence for applicants to demonstrate expertise in a key competency. In other words, Indicators are generalized illustrations of skills or behaviors applicants can use to explain a specific competency. The indicators provided by APEGA here can help applicants determine which aspects of their work experience may apply. Furthermore, these indicators will help you in identifying your own work experience, namely a specific situation which addresses each key competency. You'll also find definition and explanation for each of the key competencies on the form. Each competency must be confirmed with a validator and a reference. Validators will verify your technical abilities while your references will confirm your employment at the identified company. In this section of the Seesaw form, you must provide evidence for the competency by providing an example explaining the situation 
action, and outcome. To learn more about each of these sections, please click on the question mark buttons. Please note the character limit in these sections. Since the space is limited, you must be precise and concise with your responses so that your content fits into the space provided. Situation Situation is a brief overview of a specific situation or problem. Action Action is your contribution to the situation, including specific knowledge or skills utilized. Outcome Outcome is the solution, product, process, or other outcome that resulted from your actions. If this is an example from your Canadian work experience or equivalent to Canadian environment, please indicate by clicking yes or no. After you have provided an example for the competency, you must now assess your level of competency by providing a score. This is a self-assessment of your abilities on a scale of 0 to 5. You can click on the question mark for further information. Once you have completed all the information on the form and are ready to move to the next competency, please click on the Next to go to the next competency. After completing the Seesaw for the 22 key competencies, you will be asked to submit your responses for a summary report. This is the submission page for all the Seesaw forms you have completed for the 22 key competencies. You can review your responses by clicking on the Back to Page 1 button Please note that after submitting this page, you will not be able to access any of your responses as the system will delete them automatically. Therefore, now would be a good time for you to print a copy of the Seesaw forms or save a PDF version of your responses on your desktop by clicking on the Save slash Print button. To successfully submit your Seesaw forms, you must click on the Consent box, click on the Submit button, then click on the Go to Member Self Service Center to View Summary button. Please note that the summary report is generated by an online tool and is 100% based on the accuracy of information provided by the applicant. The purpose for the summary page is to provide applicants with an informal and quick determination of your eligibility for meeting the work experience requirements and will not be a part of your formal application to APEGA. Therefore, the summary is not an official assessment. It is a general indication of where your application may stand for meeting APEGA's requirements. For more information on the application process and other resources, please visit APEGA's website at www.apega.ca.